um, the true definition and the difference between a P and a Mac. When you flat foot pimping, you're on the concrete with it. That's it. Your elevation is going to reach so high. When you become a Mac, you spread your wings. You know, just like me, for instance. I come out of some monster Max in the day. I would just straight up come from the plan to the peak. That's all I knew. Till these giants come told me and said, man, you got to spread your wings, man. This is what you need to do. So at this time, everybody was, was you know, you know, snorting cocaine was the rich man's high back then. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what all the players, all the ball players, all the movie stars, all the entertainers, that's all they was doing, you know. And I was looking at a movie this morning, and, and uh, what the lady said was, uh, let's take you to another paradise. It's good for you. So anyway, that's what was happening then. So my partner come to me, one of the biggest Macs uh, that was around, you know. He just loved my style, you know. He said, because you, man, you're like 20 years ahead of all your peers. He said, man, can't none of them keep up with you. He said, man, I'm, I'm 20 years older than you, but you up here with me. So he said, man, this is what we got to do. We're going to come up with a plan. We're going to put our money together. Everybody sitting around the round table blowing and this and that. He said, but we come out splurge and just put it down and splurge and spending four, five, six hundred dollars uh, uh, once a, a week or something. He said, look, what we need to do is put our money together and go get all this here and give it to somebody and let them go ahead and do it. It ain't going to cost us nothing. Right. I made a statement one time about you got... Uh, you have peddlers, you got dealers, and you got suppliers. Okay. Me, myself, personally, I've never been a dealer. But did I put my money up? And what they taught me, it worked. It didn't last long. But I did do that, put my money up, and that's where the Mac can come from. When you're knowing more than one thing to do. Okay. At the top of your game, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can start out with P, but if you don't know what to do with that P money, you're going to, sooner or later, you're going to be back on the ground floor because it come and go. Right. You know, it's touch and go. But if you got something flowing all the time, you got no sense, enough knowledge to make it flow. Right. You're, you're going to keep it rocking steady. So a Mac is a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. It's a P with a, a plus degree. More or less, you can say that, you know. Uh, and there's a lot of guys that uh, they represent P. Like they ain't never done nothing else, but that's not true. Right. You know what I'm saying? Anybody with any sense know that you do something with your money. If you're gonna buy real estate or go buy a pole and go make some money, but anyway, it elevates from that. You right. know how to elevate. Right. You know, I done own hotels, wedding chapels. Right. Done all type of thing. That's what where the Mac can come from. Elevating your game right. to the next level. Wasn't it a time when 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 Pimps Pimps spoke against guys who earned their money? in other ways but profess to be a pimp yeah they did but it wasn't no propaganda you know how you gonna speak about somebody that's winning you know uh you can't talk about somebody that's winning because if you just look at the reality part of it what's his name charles manson if he was wake up and come out to the closet today people want to take pictures of him he was a straight killer yeah so no matter what you do, because if your name is up there and you pop up, they gonna want to take pictures with you, so it don't make no difference about this and that. That'd be propaganda. Right. No. It don't even matter about the infamy or nothing. No, it don't mean that. That don't mean that. So long as you win it, that's no, what counts. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, catch a movie star come up. They ain't never seen a woman to the drugstore. But you see them come out, you're going to want to take pictures. You're going to have smiles this big and everything. Right. You know, so... It's all propaganda. Who was your favorite tailor? Who was the guy that was cutting these fine suits on you? Then and now, if you don't mind sharing. I got had Jack William, Arthur William. I got had Thane in Anaheim. And uh, and I had another tailor right here in Oakland. I had Arthur. Damn, uh, I can't think of that other tailor name. That's six of them. I'm still got a lot of tailors today. Right. Still got a guy to do a lot of my work right here in the Bay Area. In your opinion, who got the uh, who got the most electrifying max? 
in your travels. The whole electrifying what? The most electrifying max the mo in your travels. What cities? What do you mean, max? You said you said that a, a, a Mac is essentially a pimp with a plus degree, something of that nature. And your oh. travels. Oh, with, my travels? With cities, yeah. You know, actually, you can't call that because there's a lot of major players everywhere. Okay. And some don't even be exposed. The only thing I have a problem about is when people don't keep it real. If you done really done your thing, then say it. Don't just try to take credit away from a person that you, that's just really done it. Right. You know, that's that's not that's not good. I speak so on everybody that done, done something good, and I know who everybody is. And I never had nothing bad to say. I can make credit when they're not even around. They done done it, they done done it. And no matter how you get there, as long as you stand on top, we rub the shoulders. So a lot of people don't make it there. It's just like being a penitentiary. Everybody can talk that. Everybody got the same clothes on. Some that did it, some haven't. But when they get on to a final analysis, it's going to show who you really are. You know? I see some guys in penitentiary that talk so good, better than that King Cole saying. When you get out here and they push in a basket. I get to see other guys, we had the same clothes on. They get out here and they really doing it. Guy told me one time, he said, man, you was up in here. He said, man, you ain't said a word. I ain't never know Jews that big. You know, you know, you know. Oh, oh when he got he got hit to your reputation later. Yeah, I never said nothing to him. He never knew. Right. Yeah, uh, he's down there, LA. He said, man, I ain't never knew Jews that big. I said, man, I don't talk it, I walk it. You know, if you've been around it, you're gonna know it. I had a, I had a police in penitentiary, I ain't never said a word to you. He told me, man, you's a pimp, ain't you? I said, man, why you say that? He never told me that. So it's if a square can see it, you know a person in the game got to be see it. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. So that's how it was, man, you know. If, if, if you see it, you've got to understand it. If that's what it is, right. you're going to see it. Now, who's not going to say what it is and you see all this, you know? Yeah. And then they want to take credit away from it. Tell me what it is that attracts a woman. Would, would, would you be giving away? Would you be giving away secrets of the game if you shared that on camera? Well, you know they say game should be sold, not told. But you know sometimes it's to be shared also. All right. Because you keep you keep other people in line, and a lot of time people don't know what to say, and they can rank everything because they don't know what to say. Right. But everything comes from the mind and drip down to the mouth, you know. And if you got that in tune with each other, yeah, you're not gonna miss. So communication. Communication brings understanding. That's everything. Yeah, you got to be able to lead. You know, you can't be no father. You got to be able to lead. You know, that's powerful. Did you meet Max Julian in your travels? No, I miss Max Julian on every occasion because when he come around, I was gone. Okay. You know, so you got to remember that I was gone for 10 years. All right. So uh, that's a hell of a thing to get some houses built from, from prison. And been gone for 10 years and still stay on top of your game. This people ain't went nowhere and ain't been on top of the game. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this is this is not, you know, like I say, all this glit is not gold. This is a job. And everybody can't can't do that. How many years you been working this job? Since 1963. Yeah. 